Oh, that is this the full version. You have no idea how painful it has kind of been uh, lately. Uh, with this game specifically, I have the full version. I could start doing a series on it if I really want, or I could I could start just filming a, a full series on this, and no one would know because I wouldn't post any of the videos until later. And like, I really want to play it, but I have to like not, because obviously I want to stream much of this game just because it's that good. And so it's just been agonizing sitting here being... I, it's uh, it's very much just the, the classic temptation of just like, Oh, but I could. But I don't want to, but I could. Or it's not even that I don't want to. I absolutely want to. But I know if I did, uh, then the game would actually come out and I'd be like, Well, I'm bored now. It's like pokey on my slippers. I'm not liking it. I see, it's just a s stitch. <laughs> yeah, speaking of stitches, I, I'm i not the fittest guy around, but I've got really good legs. Um, just from biking and hiking for years. Uh, and walking all over the place. Unfortunately, that always makes it kind of tough for me to find uh, proper underwear, effectively. Because um, I'm more of a boxer brief kind of guy. And so yesterday, I... Uh, I don't even know what I was doing, but I was effectively, I set up to do ring fit uh, to make up for the fact that I didn't do ring fit on Wednesday. And uh, so I'm switching into my exercise shorts and I realized I've just like shredded my underwear, my fairly new pair of underwear uh, down one of the thighs, just because my, they are that mighty. So I've just been sitting there being like, how do I fix this problem? The answer is I don't, I guess I just buy bigger underwear. Uh -uh. Has nothing to do with anything, but it's been stuck in my head, and I wanted to say it, say it just to get it out there. That I have succeeded at destroying my own underwear with my thunder thighs. Wander too much information. Nah, man. There's no such thing as too much information. There is such a thing as unwanted information. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got a wheat field, but I want to wait on that, because I don't think we've got a village yet. So far, this is kind of a meh run, but we'll get there. Uh, let's see. Need more info. Can you get a measuring tape? I want to exact width of thigh. I, yeah, that could be arranged. It's like the anime measurements, but thigh... Ass and waist, maybe? Let's see. Ex officio boxers. Stay pretty close to the skin, moisture wicking. Haven't had any issues with them ripping. The thing is, I was trying to. I'm trying to switch over to cotton, uh, for the most part. That, um, I'm not big on synthetic fabrics, uh, just because of. They're not exactly good for people. Uh, if you wanna. If you wanna get bothered by. By reality, look up uh, was it microplastics, and how like you can run uh you can run your washing machine, and you just end up with like shedding a bunch of little fibers. Oops. Okay, I guess we gotta just start using these metas anyway. I was hoping to save them for a treasure, but I guess we're getting wheat fields. But it ends up in the water supply, and it ends up in your house and in the air and stuff, and it's not great. Um. And so, I'm trying to move most of my wardrobe away from polyester. Uh, which is harder... Uh, easier said than done. Because it's... Everywhere. The yeah, rayon and fleece leave so much microplastics in the water. Yep. And so I... I very much would like to... Uh, cut down on that... Hey, we got a village. All right. Get a grove there. Now, can only be placed next to a village. I guess there's no easy spot for me to put that. So I'm going to put that there. Vampire Mansion here. 
wheat fields. Okay. And where else can I put a beacon? I guess I'll put it there. I want to look at Moreno wool. Yeah, I... Uh, let's see. I'm kind of hoping post-pandemic to replace much of my wardrobe, especially because it's kind of old. Uh, and so it would be... I don't know, it would be a good idea to potentially switch that stuff in. Ah, that region is good. I'm just not sure how much we need it currently. And the damage... The bonus damage is equally good? I don't know. Speaking of the pandemic, you got your first shot for the vaccine today. Dude, congrats. I am... I guess I'm jealous. I, I really got to look into getting on a wait list myself. I've been... Um, I'm not going to say I've been putting it off. But it's... Let's see. It's one of those that I never have to leave the house. So why the heck should I even put myself... Uh, remotely on any kind of, like, wait list. That it feels inherently selfish to do so. Yeah, Darn Tough lives up to the name. All of my socks are Darn Tough. I just didn't know if there was Darn Tough, like, underwear. Uh, oh, this is not the most productive. I guess I'll just... I guess I'm gonna put these on straightaways. I guess we'll just dump down all the mountains. We might not get any treasure troves here. Hello. That looks good. Yeah, I'd love to be selfish and get vaccinated earlier, so I can actually go out and go around. My friends are all talking about, like, going out for schnitzel soon, and it's just like, I would love to go out for schnitzel. Uh, yeah, darn tough is socks only. Yeah. The thing is, I don't wear socks. I'm a barefoot kind of guy. Uh... And since I don't go outside, I don't really need to put on socks ever. So it's like, well, I mean, I could get more sock, but what would that do? You only got it to, due to developmental disabilities. I, that's, there's no shame in that. You don't, you don't need to say that like it's some kind of black mark. Scarecrows look spooky. Am I allowed to show off the other classes? Yeah, but I don't have them unlocked yet. So, not there yet. Uh, lose some max HP, gain some evasion. Hell yeah. Don't you have a second ring slot? It's locked. Okay. 35% chance to counterattack during an evade. Ooh. Or damage is increased by 20% of defense value. That increased my damage by 4. I I think dominant mass... Might be better right now. Somersault is damn good with Buckler. Because you evade damage and heal. That is really good. I'm going to go Dominant Mass for now, uh, just because I don't think we're quite there yet. Give me another town. Not another vampire mansion. Well, we're just going to pile it around. Yeah, do vampire mansions actually improve towns? If it does, I'm certainly not seeing it. Or maybe it improves the healing. Available. It's a shame you can't get a second uh, mountain peak. But oh well. Oh, they need to be adjacent, not orthogonal. Good to know. Well, I guess next Vampire Mansion we get. Well, we did get another town 
town at least. Okay. Yeah, feeling fairly reasonably good about this. Uh, is that better? No. Yeah, what does Bandit Camp do? Uh, not much currently. I just summons bandits. I'm not entirely sure what bandits do. Apart from being jerks. That's a big HP bonus, but I don't want to lose the evasion. Actually, I'll put it on on the next loop. Okay, there's the weird blood beast. And unfortunately, I haven't seen a whole lot of the monsters do anything particularly interesting. They just kind of exist. Let's slam everything down. I was really hoping I'd be able to get a, uh... What was I hoping I would be able to get? Oh, one of the treasure vaults, but I haven't seen any of them go by. Uh, let's see, are any of these better? This one's got counter and evasion. We lose a little bit of... We lose vampirism, but I think I'll go for it. Oh, well, there's the treasury, a little late. Okay, is this better? No, I don't want to lose that evasion. Okay, so these guys are getting a bit punchy. But I'll probably be fine, I've got... It's really just this singular area that gets a bit spooky. Um... Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get a Vampire Manor down there anyway. That's okay. We'll just do more Blood Groves and... Just to prevent the final one from being hairy. As a casual reminder, even though it's only been, what, 10 minutes, uh, I realize a lot of people are very passionate about this game, but... Uh, my YouTube comments and my uh, my Twitch comments for this game are uh, very pushy, to say the least. And that's a little hard on me in a way that I don't appreciate. So we've switched it over to... Hey, there it is. Ransacked Village. The farmers couldn't fight off a hungry vampire. They could still fight you off, though. Spawns ghouls. Transforms into something useful after three loops. Good to know. Oh god, that's a lot of shit. I think I'll be fine, but uh bad. There's a bit of evasion, gain some magic damage, some defense, and some max HP. I think I like the evasion better at the, in this case. I was not expecting four ghouls. I think I'll be fine, but four ghouls is a little bit above and beyond. I think we might have to accelerate our exit. I want to see what the ransacked town looks like, but later. Right now, it's more important to just get out with the goods. Dang, I don't, don't even get to use the... Ooh, hello. Okay. I think I'll be fine at this point. It's just a couple of harpies. The skeletons are the spookiest. They do a lot of damage.
Despite all that, I'm holding on pretty dang well. Yeah. Okay, how much better is that? Not that much better. Slap that down. So we've got... Yeah, we're fine. Let's just go for the temp HP, so we're doubly fine here. I need this game to come out sooner. Waiting for March 4th is killing me. I... 100% there, except for I already have the game, so... If I wanted to, as soon as tonight is done, I could just keep going with this. But that would be the worst. I don't want to do that. Okay. So now we've got a ton of food. So we can get the smithy. We could get another farm, but I don't want another farm. What's the refuge? Unlocks the rogue. Looks like we need stone aplenty. So let's plop a smithy down. By the anvil of the seven seas, it's a small forge. Yo ho ho! You have no idea how I've missed the heat of a furnace and the smell of metal. We'll have some good tools now. You can be sure of it, lad. You'll even be able to use some something during those trips of yours. You're quite enthusiastic. Something tells me you're not a stranger to seamanship. Shiver me hammers! How did you know? It doesn't matter, though. You're right. Don't worry. I'll prove to you that these hands can hold a hammer as good as they can hold a helm in a storm. And for a good... Uh, and for a dozen days in a row if needed. Okay, we can also start looking to upgrades, but I... We're lacking stuff. Unlocks the Smith's Forge card. Allows you to start expeditions with better gear. Or, no? What's the upgrade do? We actually don't know what the upgrades do. Oh, that's fine. Leave that for later. <sighs> okay, I don't think I can build anything else. So we are fine. So, chapter one, enemies have zero to one abilities. Enemy strength is reduced. Strength growth, 2% per loop. Max amount of any resource, 10. Oh. Good to know. Alright, onwards. Game now pre-purchased. I was shocked, uh, looking at the pre-purchase for this, that they're selling this for 15 bucks. Like... I feel like this is going to be one of those Hollow Knight situations where the game is just, like, tremendously better than... Not it ought to be, but tremendously better than the value that they're charging for it, almost. Which really just does mean market saturation for this game, and it's so good that people will probably buy it in spades. Uh, but it always throws me off when, uh, when really good games sell cheap, and it's just like, it'll work out, but you could have charged more. Wonder just constantly the source of your bank account emptying. I'd apologize, but I know you like it. That sounded kind of abusive. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's a good spot for a beacon. Okay, we get a cemetery. I'm curious if there is some kind of thing for multiple cemeteries in a row. We'll try three, if I can manage it. Uh, let's see. My HP is kind of fine, so I don't really feel like I need these meadows down. But I think we're going to have to start getting them down anyway. Okay. And I'll just be patient. I'm hoping we can get our hands on some graveyards, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Slap these down. Defense, attack, counter. I... I kind of want to try and just stack evasion, but I, I think we're not going to be leveling up fast enough to really justify specking in any direction. Come on, give me a village.
Technically, I'm going to need a lot of these. Uh, like, I'm going to need a lot of villages here. We might not actually want to stack up all the skeletons next to each other. They do shockingly large amounts of damage. Evasion and vampirism, that's, that's good. Okay. If I put this here, that gives us a decent chance at ghosts. Uh, let's get another meadow down, and let's start plonking down the mountains. Because I could use the max HP, and we need the rock. Okay, that'll get us the blood beast. Oh, shoot. I should have gotten the smithy down. Or added that to the deck. We'll get it on the next round. Okay. Did we get the... Do we get a second battlefield here? Yeah, because that'll get us the weird blood beasts. Okay. Wait, I can't actually put those down. Come on, give me a village game. Okay. Oh, flip side, this does give me some vampirism. Yeah, and a ton of defense. Better axe. Still bad weapon, but whatever. And those meadows don't really actually heal that much. We might want to strike them from the deck. Maybe. I don't know. It's like they're helpful, but villages and farms are straight straight up just better. Okay. Come on, give me that sweet loot. Give me a weapon. Got a shit ton of max HP. Hello. We lose the evasion, we gain some vampires, and we get, gain a bunch of max HP. Yeah. It's like I want to spec for evasion, but I don't want to screw myself in an attempt to go that direction. I think later we get the ability for better treasure ish. But I'm not entirely sure. Hello, yes. Can I please get a village? Look at these. Noticeable change. Funny changes form a complete metamorphosis. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, there's a min and a max for that. So I can't remove it even if I wanted to. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, so we got our village. The only immediate problem is we kind of need it. Shit, that's a lot of ghouls. Okay. Well, I'm feeling better about my chances anyway. Uh, let's see, damage to all, region per second, heavy defense, that's good, and probably not on this one. 
more regen per second and evasion instead of counter. But we lose the damage to all and we lose the defense. I don't know. I think I'll go with this. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for, though. That's a demonstrable change. That is worth it. All right, we got a talent. Every counterattack restores three times loop HP. Well, my counter is currently 13%. That's not terrible. Chance to keep the card after placing its tile. Doesn't work for golden cards. Go Buckler. Yeah. We're gonna make it so I just don't take damage. Let's see, do you still take damage when you counter? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna put that there so we fight slightly less ghouls. Oh. Alternating between rocks and meadows gets you a blooming meadow. I don't know why I've never noticed that before. I guess because I only ever did it around the vault, I assumed it was something vault related. Yeah, that's worth it. Lose a little bit of defense, gain HP regen. Quick HP regen, too. Oh, that's a blood path. That's why I can't put anything there. That makes sense. Yeah, there is a evade counter that does make it so uh, you counterattack after evading and therefore take no damage. All right, slightly less dangerous, and I am, I am spooky. Okay. I, I'm i gonna go out on a limb here and say we can probably bring chat back, but if... well, I don't know. Okay, where do I want to put this village? Uh, let's probably put it here. Yeah, slow mode to check. I... yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think slow mode's going to change uh, people's behavior. Slow mode stops spam. Okay. Seven ring. Evasion vampirism. We lose the counterattack, though. And I really want to be counterattacking here. Holy shit, that sucker hurts. Okay, let's uh, consider what's going on. So we lose a little bit of counter, but we gain a lot of other stats. Worth it. We gain counter, magic... Oh, boy. We lose a little bit of damage, we gain attack speed, counter, yep. Yep. Okay, so I now have a 40% chance to counter, which heals me a fair bit. I don't actually know how many loops I've done. Does it say anywhere how many loops I've done? Not to my visual knowledge there. Okay, pause for a second as we are quickly becoming overburdened here. Uh, let's see. I'll just put a rock down. That gets me some more stuff. 
Okay, we get another battlefield. I'll just put it there. We don't have any more meadows. So I'm probably just gonna slap these down. Alright, resources are looking pretty good. And my build is looking amazing. We might be able to beat the Lich here. We're getting very close to being able to just beat the Lich. I'd wager. And potentially go on to the second region. I don't actually know. I'm perfectly fine with delaying it, though. I This is one of those games where the grind is fun and interesting. So how far am I allowed to play? I can play until I kill the second boss. And then I can't go further than that. It's not a hard cutoff. It's like, you beat the second boss, you must stop. And it's like, no, no, no. Let's, let's go supplies, actually. Because we're doing pretty well. What I could do is just kind of keep looping uh, with what I've currently got and just drop my stuff off. Okay. If I put a second vampire mansion there, I have no idea what that does. Probably nothing. Oh, this is a grove. I'll just put that up there. We're probably going to have to stop uh, stop to some degree. And just be patient. Oh. Hold up. Counts lands. The village is trying under the vampire's protection, and its inhabitants are very generous. Heals a lot, gives you a quest with a better reward. Oh, that's cool. So there's a downside and then an immediate upside after a short period of time. Surrounding a mountain peak with meadows changes anything. Nope, they just bloom. Okay, we get an axe, does more damage. We get that. Gives me counter and evasion. No. I need more counter attack. I'm probably going to just let the rest of these decay. Because I, I like the meadow, the blooming meadows. Yeah, it's super tragic. I don't think I'm going to be able to put down that treasury. Man, being a counterattack machine is nuts. I can see getting up to like a hundred percent counterattack being hilarious.
Okay. So we just wait here, and we be we be patient. But I I might want to bail next time we hit the village anyway, just because I'm sitting on a lot. I'm not. I'm not sure. Because we can potentially just keep looping as we are. I've I'm sitting on a decent build for just soloing everything. Let's see. Well, considering I'm not in any immediate danger from pretty much any group that I've run into, we could... <laughs> yeah, I'm not even taking damage from these guys. We could just sit here looping. Man, I can't wait until we get those other equipment slots, too. be interesting if uh, if you actually had like functional counts lands if the vampires would stop attacking you entirely. Yeah, let's see what the better quest is at the very least. Because as long as I'm not in any immediate danger, we could probably just say, eh, whatever. And if we do lose stuff, it probably shouldn't be that big of a, a deal. Especially because we do get to deposit it as we go by. Yeah, it seems like the deposit 10% of your resources every time you go by the camp, that is very much just a uh, put away one of everything. Which I guess isn't so bad. Eh. That's a 30% attack speed though, but I don't want to lose my counterattack bonuses. What about this one? E uh, let's see. Equal amounts of counters. Slightly less vampirism, but it does give me evasion. Yeah, I'll go for it. Now, this is looking a little spookier. Okay, a lot of HP, a lot of damage. Yeah, I want a new sword, but this spear is too good for me to want to just immediately trade out. Okay, I'll just get another village down. Which I guess, in retrospect, doesn't really help me there, but it's the only... It's the only spot that I'm actually in any immediate danger. Yeah, how much damage does this guy do? 128. He had a smorgasbord of of rat equipment. So we lose a little bit of vampirism in favor of damage to all bonus. I'll take it then immediately get rid of it. We lose the vampirism, we gain even more counterattack. Ah, this is tough. Stacking that evasion? Yeah. If we can get get that perk so that I counter whenever I evade too, I will be a happy camper, but I'm not entirely sure if we're going to get it. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna try turning it off. Please behave. I guess the other thing is I straight up just Stop looking at chat instead. Okay, that heals me a fair bit.
Oh, we get a perk. Counterattack will evade. Armor is increased by one after every loop. Oh, that's interesting. It's a little late for that one. Let's go for Somersault. Okay, I'm just gonna plonk a couple meadows down. We don't want to piss off bad boy yet. But I could feasibly get those down. Alright, HP is getting getting there. But so is their damage. Okay. Yeah, we're just... We're sitting on a treasure trove that I do not want to lose. Bonus HP Skeleton's a bit spooky. Especially... Holy shit. Yeah, we're leaving after this one. Yeah, the better quest gives you... Equipment and a heal. Which is good, like, don't get me wrong, but... Please kill the primary one, thank you. Little guys aren't nearly as dangerous. Though they are they are punchy. Okay. Final assault. Well, let's get out of here. If potions is a last resort. Potions are not actually uh they're not really a good last resort. They heal for uh they heal for four percent of my maximum HP. Which is to say, pretty bad. Yeah, equipment drops are scaled by based on my own equipment, so it's actually better to equip the higher level stuff. Interesting, so it does a uh, Destiny eye level system. Good to know. That said, most of my best gear is also my highest level gear, so it's not so bad. Is the game out now? No. It is currently doing a preview weekend where a lot of content creators can get access to uh, the first couple chapter, uh, the first two chapters of the game uh, with no embargo on that content within, but I cannot go past. Uh, so second boss is the end for me. Retreat keep all of my stuff. Okay. So that increases the campfire's healing power. Increases the potion's healing effect and lets me carry more. I think I'm going to keep unlocking new things if I can grab it. Smelter. Storm Temple card. Arsenal Golden card. If the Intel Center is built. But we don't have the Intel Center. Supply Depot is still a ways away. Cemetery is still a ways away. Refuge. Does unlock a new class, Rogue, if we want to go that way. Wait. Why? Okay, I can get rid of the Survivor's temp Tents. Uh, why can't I build this? Huh. Oh. 
it's got to be adjacent to the field kitchen. This makes sense. There's an exile in, uh, even an exile hero. Don't be hard on the lost souls who get, who have found their salvation in wine and gambling. Sit down instead and pick yourself a poison to drink. It's not why I'm here. It's so strange. This place is, and its surroundings, they're familiar to me. Now we're talking. So, did you make your living off the road? A bit of robbery, maybe, or collecting bounties for some, someone's unlucky head? It's as if someone else knew and did all this. And now I have their knowledge and skills. And now I somehow literally have two aces up my sleeve. And I think I stole someone's purse, too. Ha! Huh. Wait, that's my coin purse! Don't you believe me? Ah, well. Feel free to come by if you want to discuss your new trade. I didn't become this good with knives by working in the kitchen, you know. Okay, so we're gonna have to build another herbalist hut. And it looks like my farm still exists, I just can't build another one. Good to know. Doesn't look like an, I can upgrade the refuge, but... Now... Now we know.